So, ChatGTP, this new AI tool that I keep hearing about, and I want to find out how it could benefit me on my workflow, on the things that I do with design. Let's find out. And right now I'm over here at the office, so let's get out of here. Lately it's been very cold, but right now the weather's not so bad. Traffic, traffic, always. It's like around 5.30 right now. So it's about that time that everybody gets out of work. So while this traffic is going slow, I am thinking about different topics that I want to ask chat GTP. Maybe it can help me write a job description post for a senior UX designer role. That's currently my task right now. I have to write a job description. Just got home and now I'm going to jump on the laptop and see what this chat GDP is all about. All right. So the first thing I want to search for, it's a chat. So I'm having a chat with this AI, but I'm going to ask it first. Can you describe what chat GPT is in a simple way that a five year old can understand? Let's see what it says. All right. So chat GDP is a computer program that can talk to you and understand what you say. It's like having a friend who can answer your questions and have a conversation with you. But instead of being a, a person, it's made of computer code. Wow. OK, so it's like having a conversation with a machine. I can ask it anything I want. So one of the things that I need help with right now, currently we're hiring at my job um, for a senior UX designer role. And I'm going to see if this can help me put together a job description. So let's see what happens. Can you write me a job description for a UX designer role? Actually, it's a senior UX designer role. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh man, this is crazy. It's like it's doing its magic. All right, let's read this. As a senior UX designer, you will be responsible for leading the designs and development of user-centered digital products and services. This includes conducting user, user research, creating wireframes, prototypes, and testing and iterate on designs. You will work closely with cross-functional teams, including product managers, developers, and stakeholders to ensure that the final product meets the needs of the end user. This is great because it gives me an outline of how I should, you know, approach the um, a job description, you know, so I can put it together. Now I can grab this and then customize it a little bit and, you know, simplify it or whatever, customize it to what I need for my position. So this is great. I mean, this is going to save me a lot of time. So can you make a version for a UX engineer? That was my previous role. Ha ha. As a UX engineer, you will be responsible for implementing design solutions that improve the user experience of digital products and services. You will cl work closely with designers, product managers, developers, turn design concepts into functional, high quality code. Wow, this is awesome. It talks about the proficiency in front end technologies such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and experience with design and prototyping tools such as Sketch, Figma, and envision as you can see this tool man is gonna change the game everybody talking about this because um i don't know if i'm using it correctly but the information i don't have to go to google and then you know download something it, it can do stuff like this all right so what else can i ask let's see can you help me create a meal prep plan for one week with ingredients list I don't know. Sure. Here's an example of meal prep plan for one week. Oh man. It's already given it to me. Monday breakfast, overnight oats with almond milk, chia seeds. Wow. Damn. It's giving me everything Tuesday. Now Wednesday is giving me all the, all the ingredients. This is crazy. This is insane. And it keeps going. You know, one of the things that overwhelms me is having to deal with a plan, a workout plan or some kind of routine. 
can you get me a workout routine using only push-ups and squats to get fit at home question mark sure here it is here's a workout routine you can do at home only using push-ups and squats push-ups starts with a set of 10 push-ups and work your way up to three sets of 20 push-ups make sure you keep your back straight and you, wow it's even giving me tips on how to make sure my body is in the right position wow this is amazing like you know just simplify that for me it just solved the problem i don't want to go to the gym that's cool i'm impressed i could see myself doing this more what else can i ask this thing all right so here's a real test i've been planning on topics to talk about regarding ux design and the field of design and anything like that for this channel and i want to know if this tool can help me come up with topics for youtube videos let's see can you get me a list that's gonna find things on the internet no can you can you help me put together a list of new topics that have a high potential to trend on youtube about ux design let's see what it has to say about that Sure, here's a list of potential topics related to UX design that could trend on YouTube. The impact of emerging technologies such as AR, VR, voice interfaces on UX design. Designing for accessibility and ex inclusivity. The role of data and analytics in UX design. The future of UX design in the context of the rise of autumn. Man, I can't read this stuff, man. We make it simple. Sure, here's a shorter list of potential UX design topics for YouTube, AR, VR, and voice interface and UX design, accessibility and inclusivity in design, data and analytics and UX design, future of UX design and AI, which is this, the AI chat, uh, design thinking for problem solving, psychology and UX design, importance of user research, mobile and responsive design, storytelling and UX design. Wow e-commerce ux design evolution please know that these are just suggestions you may want to research more to see if they're currently relevant okay that makes sense so i could take these topics and maybe use the google trends to verify i'm not can't take this up front and see if this is really gonna be true if it's gonna trend of course there's a lot that goes into this but wow this is amazing it gets my brain going makes me think about you know other topics that i can talk about i don't know are these good topics to talk about i hope so i hope people are gonna be interested in these things all right so there you have it wow this tool is amazing chat gpt this is gonna change i mean everybody's talking about it i can see why it's gonna it's gonna help with a lot of jobs it's just a tool it helps you you know just just have the chat and have creativity and just be able to have a conversation with a robot thing. I don't know how many jobs this thing is gonna take over or if it's gonna replace the humans. I think that what this is going to do, not the AI tool, is the AI jobs are gonna replace the regular jobs. That's what's gonna happen. So this is definitely gonna help me with a variety of ways. I can I already got my brain working on, you know, different levels to like YouTube topics, help me research, you know, just get my brain and creativity going. It's a good start. I would not replace this with my creativity, but it's a start to help you think in the right direction. So yeah, definitely I, I could see myself using this a lot. All right, y'all, there you have it. Chat GPT, the next frontier in AI tools. Wow, this is amazing. I appreciate you watching this and make sure you give it a like. That really helps me with the algorithm. It would make my day. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Peace out. Thank you.